Hey guys, what's up? Thanks so much for tuning in, for watching, rating, and for subscribing. This is the makeup look that we're doing today. And it's pretty much based off of these earrings right here. guys can see that or not but um they're pretty long and they have these um like rope thingies right here there's like all these colors in here like purple and uh, the blue and everything so if you guys like this look go ahead and stay tuned i'll show you guys how to do it don't forget to follow me on twitter if you haven't already at pretty pinks 3000 and check out my facebook the information will be located below all right so let's go ahead and get started so i'm using the third pink from the end on the 120 palette and I've already added the base to my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and use a patting motion and add that pink right there to the inner corner of my eye. It's very important to use a good eyeshadow base when you're using the 120 palette to make sure the colors do pop and show up very well. Now I'm using this um, greenish blue color, the fourth color from the end on the 120 palette. I'm going to add that to the center of my eyes and just using a patting motion again and make sure you get into the creases of your eyelid as well and just use a padded motion to add that all over your eyelid I'm going into the pink again and I'm just lightly blending that in to the green color give it a nice transition then I'm going into this um, purple color which is the second from the end on the 120 palette and I'm adding that to the end of my eyes using a blending brush I'm using a card just to make sure that um, everything looks neat and just lightly add that to your eyes and kind of bring it over a little bit So next I'm going into the pink again and I'm using a nice fluffy brush this time and I'm going to just add it to the top of the purple of my eyes and bring it over. I'm going to make sure that those two colors are blended together, the purple and the pink. Now I'm taking that dark purple again, I'm just going under my eyes this, with it. And I'm adding that same pink again, and I'm adding that to the inner corners of my eyes. So now I'm adding some light mascara just to the top and the bottom eyelashes. Now I'll be using a black eyeliner and lining my eyes before I apply my eyelashes. and taking a dark black pencil and lining my waterline. Now I'm adding my eyelashes. I'm using these eyelashes again. Um, they're easy just to just reuse so um, I don't really throw away eyelashes like that. But that's the eyes and now I'm using a nice um, goldish light color as a highlight and that's the second color from the end of the um, 120 palette. Then I'll be going into the first color on the end and adding that right on top of the um, highlight that I just put and just blending that in really well. And the eyes are pretty much done. Now I'm going into the eyeshadow base and I'm using that as a concealer and I'm going to apply that right underneath my eyes just very lightly I don't want it to look too obvious that I have on concealer so I'm going to blend that in very very well as well and just bring it back a little bit um, and just blend it in on both sides of my eyes I've already added um, my powder which was um, C7 by MAC in Studio Fix. I'm adding this uh, mineral skin finishing powder. It's in mineral, it's in uh, medium plus and I'm using that on top of the concealer and on my forehead and my chin. Now I'm going into Studio Fix um, NW50 
powder by MAC it's a darker color I'm using that to contour my nose a little bit just very lightly and I'm using my fingers to blend it out so that it doesn't look too obvious um, now I'm going back into medium plus in studio fix and just adding a nice little line right down the middle of my nose and on the ball of my nose as well just to highlight that and you can use your fingers again to lightly blend it together now I'm going back into NW50 and I'm adding that um, on my cheeks a little bit to contour them on the lower part of my cheeks that is and as you can see it's a little contoured there so I'm going to use that again on the other side of my cheeks and lightly contouring the bottom and bringing it all the way back and the sucking in your cheeks method does work <laughs> when you're doing the contour just go into those um, creases when you suck in and I'm just adding it lightly to the temples of my face as well I'm going into Milani's Mai Tai blush and I'll be adding that right on top of the um, contour that I just did and kind of blending it in just a little bit but it'll be going right above the contour area next I'll be using this light pink blush right here it has a little shimmer to it I'm going to add that to the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend it over all of the colors the blush and the contour just to give it a nice glow a nice highlight and I really love that color it just adds a nice little shimmer to the look and you're pretty much done on my lips I just added a nice nude color and had um, some lip gloss on top of that on my nails I'm wearing this nail polish right here it's by Ruby Kisses the color is Blue's Clue so yeah it's a very nice um, blue color and uh, my nails are kind of grown out but I just painted over them or whatever so they look pretty good at a distance so I mean when you're really really up close then you'll notice that you know there's like new growth and everything but when you're like a feet away you can't really tell with this color so that's why I like it yeah so guys this is the finished look I hope you guys like it tell me what you guys think don't forget to post a video response if you try this look don't forget to thumbs up this video and favorite and I'll talk to you guys later bye peace thumbs up thumbs up